This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there and thanks for connecting. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail this Monday, 14th June 2021. I am Adetola Kayode. You welcome. The People's Democratic Party PDP elected governors have plans to meet in Uyo Akwaibom State today over threats to democracy, declining economy, rule of law and constitutionalism. Director General of the PDP Governors Forum, Honorable Cyril Maduabum, says the meeting will also focus on the deteriorating state of security, the growing calls and agitations for secession and how to continue with good governance measures in their respective states. Like every other thing that COVID-19 has affected, donation of blood across the continent has declined with fewer people donating since the pandemic. World Health Organization WHO Regional Director for Africa, Dr. Machidisa Moeti says travel restrictions and worries of infection prevented donors from visiting donation centers, encouraging more people to join the train of blood donors. Moeti says about 7 million patients still require this life-saving product in African countries every year. Well, World Blood Day is celebrated annually on June 14 and the theme for this year is give blood and keep the world beating. Governor Babajide Sonwolu has played host to the Ultimate Fighting Champions welterweight champion Kamaru Usman, also known as the Nigerian Nightmare, at the Lagos House Marina. The two discussed ways of mentoring and promoting the sports in Lagos, the center of excellence. The UFC champion Kamaru, who was in town after being away for so long, thanked Mr. Governor for receiving him. He says it feels good to be back home. Kamaru was said to have also met with Vice President Yemi Oshibaju, Kogi State Governor Yahaya Belu, Kate around the neighborhood as well as upcoming boxers in training. Israel's new Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has vowed to unite the nation freed by four elections in two years of political stalemate. He says his government will work for the sake of the people, set priorities in education reforms, health and cutting the red tape. The right-wing nationalists will lead an unprecedented coalition of parties backed by MPs in Sunday's 60 to 59 vote. He succeeds Benjamin Netanyahu who was forced out of office after 12 years. Bennett, leader of the Amina Party, will Prime Minister the until September 2023 as part of but a power sharing deal. He will then hand over power to Yel Lapid, head of the centrist Yesh Atid, for a further two happen. years. Netanyahu, Israel's longest serving prime minister, will remain head of the right wing Likud party and become the leader of the opposition. All arm robbers, what and that's it on your show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Detola Coyote. Have a fruitful week ahead. In making